Hey everybody, so I said the other day that I've gone for, I'm making a change, I'm, I'm looking to change my keyboard um, from the cheap mechanical keyboard I got to a sort of a more bespoke one. The thing about the UK is you don't get as many options as you do in the US and it's something that if I enjoy doing this I'm going to look more into, seeing if I can import this stuff. So I went for kind of one from this company called Glorious which is also imported, but there's three places in the UK you can buy it from. Um, and, you know, you can get all the parts from the same company. So later on, I might look at how building more bespoke and, you know, using different types of switches, not necessarily everything from the same company, but in this case, the base, the keycaps and the switches all come from Glorious. And these are uh, bronze switches because I like the sound of the bronze they're clicking, they're quite, um, quite, you know, they've only got I think it's 40 grams of pressure on them and I wanted something that was quite light, uh, although I think there's silver, I think are even lighter, but they were just, as you can see there, can you see there? I can see it with focus. So yeah, 27 would have been a bit too light. It's a, it's a TKL, 10 keyless uh, keyboard and I've gone from these Aurora, which are actually half, uh, clear and half black uh, on top um, so anyway I just thought this it's also a I suppose it's plug and play I forgot what they call hot hot swap that's it uh, so you don't have to solder it's solderless so I thought for my first build using a kit like this might be a bit easier and then if I enjoy doing it later on I may actually look at building other keyboards anyway I just thought I'd show you this very quickly um, if my Not sure actually if I'm if this is gonna let me zoom out, but uh, I won't go into that part. Let me just uh, open up the base and uh, just show you a little bit because obviously you might get a bit bored if I was to do every single part of it. Like a keyboard cover. I remember years ago having these plastic covers to cover my keyboard. Um, now there are some downsides to this uh, in that it's just micro USB and not USB three. Um, well, you know, it's not actually a bad, it's got a little bit of weight to it, it's not actually bad. Um, so that's the base, and then all you do is you take these switches, which come <laughs> zipped up in a bag, um, and then you just literally fucking open the bag. Take them where they've got these little pins. I don't know if you can see. Is it going to focus? My phone trying to focus. The pins, and then you line them up in, inside here with the little pins, and then you just clip it in, from my understanding. So, literally, just place it in, and then it should just clip in like that. And now that should now do for every single one of these exactly the same. There is also a puller somewhere so you can actually pull them off again if you need to. Here we go. Oh, this is, oh, sorry, this is the pin straightener. So apparently, if there's any other pins can bent, you can um, straighten them. Although you get extra ones anyway, and there we go, that's the puller, so uh, there, if you want to pull them off again, from my understanding, you, if you're hot swapping, you um, take this, and then you put either side, and then you just literally pop it off again like that, there we go, see, so nice and simple to do apparently, but uh, now I've got that one again. Line up and then pop it in. Okay, so that took me about 10 minutes to do. I had to pull a couple of them and replace them. Some went in easy, some did not so much. My finger and thumb here, a bit you know, worse for wear as you were pushing them in. And I had to straighten a couple of pins out as I went along. 
but obviously the testing will be later make sure they're all in place but yeah it took about 10 minutes and they just clip in um, you do have to give it a bit of a sand click some of them are actually easier to get in than others you know what I mean so just be aware of that and so the next thing is to put the keycaps on now this is a TKL keyboard so 10 keys to have the numeric keys so you do get a full set but obviously I'm not going to be using the entire full set of these I'm only going to be using the ones that are prevalent to the ones that are actually on the keyboard and also this is a US layout it's not a UK so um, yeah just beware the um, at, the at and the quote marks are in different places right we need a pair of scissors to cut a bit of a tape Take all the meat down everywhere. That's fine. I can deal with that with the pair of scissors. There we go. Open up. Oh. If they jump everywhere. That's the control. The Windows key. So obviously the Windows key goes down here. And they just clip on. See at the bottom there's a you've got a key pro I don't know if you can see. But underneath it's just a square. I may be a while. Okay, so here's the final product. Um, the work of issues when I was doing the keycaps, as you can probably see, this one stands out quite a bit because you can see it's at the bottom there glowing and there's all black and the same with these two over here. The reason is these keys here, they're all raw, all raw ones. Um, they were by the looks of base for a US full sized keyboard. Now when I bought this I read some reviews and I was reading you know that this came with a USB um, mini USB I think and this is actually a USB 3 connection. It's a probability that the base has been changed from the one I was reading in for one and the one that I saw uh, on, on so online was this key here. The, enter key was across here and actually in the key set there was an enter key this one was what was from the keypad that went across here and then there was a one of these keys large one that went over there and a few other and, and this key here wasn't there so this key here and here both are the same um, and the shift key here was actually larger and in the images I saw online on, on their website. I might see if I can find that and link it in this video. Anyway, so this must be a changed edition and not all the keys fitted. So um, as you can see, I put the enter key from the keypad. There's and most of them, you can see there's a little notch there. So you can get an enter key that goes a little notch. And then um, the key here the shift key here and that is is and this key here is available so i'm, I'm making a muck of this um if you go to amazon there's a key set which is solid black like this and it has the correct set however none of the aura ones which is the, the key that i wanted where you've got half have that so I'm either going to keep these three keys here because there's no difference. There's, they're, they're, they're literally, I can't see if you can see them, they're basically the same height. It might be like a millimeter in it, and the same as these because these actually, these.
came from one old keyboard I've got and this shift key and the other key over here came from another old keyboard I've got both mechanical keyboards both have issues one of them I'm actually going to take all the, the plastic keys off I think and throw the body away because it's, it's no good anyway um, so I may just keep it like this because it works it's perfectly fine I may get some custom keys for these I don't know yet um, but um, it's all working now so keep in mind if you do buy this kit make sure you go for if you're in the UK at least go for the UK set because I think it may be like an international version too I'm not sure if you're US you might actually get the other design where the actual enter key comes across in, in which case the Aurora key set will work absolutely fine the US one because this is a US key set um, so yeah but other than that the actual you know it was very simple to put together it feels really nice to type on um, and um, yeah I think it's a, it's a great and I love the the half glow as well I think you know and I've got this little wooden wrist rest to, to put there as well just to make it a little bit nicer uh, but yeah I think it's actually not a bad key set I might get some more keys and change around but as I said I might actually start looking at building a, another custom keyboard and doing it not from a kit but actually buy the parts individually and have a play around we'll see anyway this is my first entry into building my own bespoke keyboard and it is very bespoke because some of the keys actually are from another keyboard <laughs> another set so there we go